is all dirty. Hi guys and welcome back. So this morning we are out and about already. It's about 10 o'clock I think. So we had to get a quick load of sawdust but our lumber mill that we usually get it from called us yesterday and said that they had sawdust ready for us if we came that day but um, after that they were going to be shut down for about a week or two weeks or something like that because they had a building project going on and they were going to be shut down. So if we didn't come get it that day we weren't going to be able to get it until two weeks or a week from now or whatever it was. It was really nice of them to call and let us know that but unfortunately we were already busy that day. We went and picked up those heifers that I was talking about in the last video. So pretty much most of our day was tied up getting the heifers and bringing them back and making sure they were comfortable. Um, putting them in the heifer barn and everything. So anyway that's what we're doing today. We're getting it at a different mill. And they also told us that we're going to have to hurry this morning to get there early because they have a lot of stuff going on in the afternoon and they probably won't be able to get to us. So anyway, long story short, um, we don't really need sawdust, but if we want to get it anywhere, we have to do it now. So we made a quick pit stop and we're at the grain store. Brent is inside getting minerals for the cows. By the way, if you are new here, I'm Taylor and I work on a dairy farm in Maine. And Brent is my boss. He owns the farm and it's just him and I. We do all of the work. We milk seven days a week. We milk 70 cows and we do all of our field work, so there's very little time for much else, but I absolutely love what I do, so every day for me is fun. So yeah, we're just waiting for him to come back. This must be like hunting blinds or something. Obviously, it says Shadow Hunter on it. They do make their own grain here. Not actually make it, I guess, but um, they mix grain here, I guess. They pelletize it. I don't really know how to say that. It's a grain mill. They bring all the products in and they make grain. There's our stuff. I think we're going to be putting it right in the back of the truck underneath the sawdust. I'm going to get out and help. push it in and do no. it at the same time. No. Hmm? Usually I do that for a thin Ah. Uh, well that makes sense why I always have trouble with it because I, I always do that first. So That's probably why I have such a hard time. Okay. Get some milk filters or something? Yeah. We were? Yep. Did, I didn't couple even couple notice. Days Here's your wrench. Yep.
did they get five, six dollars? Probably. This is always such a hopping place. Yeah. We saw a lot of pine logs here. This other one there. <laughs> <laughs> They're over there. No. There was a whole bunch out front. This is their kiln dryer, right? Yep. to drive one of those motors. That would be awesome. Thing left to do is pay. Yep. Hope they don't mind the third party postdated out of state check. <laughs> Where after this? A thousand feet for donuts. <gasps> 180. Yes. Love donuts. And coffee, I hope. Yes. yes. New England coffee. Best coffee out there. It is. They had five left, look at them all. Yes. Coffee. Watch that lid, I don't know if that. Oh my goodness, they smell heavenly. Mm, oh, yeah. chocolate. Honey dip. I mean chocolate coated. Oh my gosh. I want one of those. You want one of those? Yeah. Oh, they're so soft. Can I have one of these too? Mm. All those are so good. The benefits of working mm. for yourself. What? 
The benefits of working for yourself even will get I don't work for myself. <laughs> Very good. It's only going to get four, but she talked me into buying the last one. She talked you into it? <laughs> would it really be that hard? And you're like, would you like another donut? You're like, nah, okay. <laughs> All right, so we just got back. Brent went out back with the sawdust truck. He's going to park that out back where we keep our sawdust. Um, I'm going to put these milk filters right here. I did clean the floor in here today, so it looks nice and snazzy. We haven't got our electrician. It hasn't come yet, so we haven't got this hooked up. Haven't got to try it yet, which is kind of a bummer. We'll see how it works sometime. Another thing we did do yesterday was we did mow half of this field across the road. So we're gonna be raking a little bit of that this afternoon to get a couple green feed bales for tonight and tomorrow and probably the weekend because it's Thursday right now and I'm pretty sure it's supposed to rain a lot on Saturday. Possibly tomorrow too and then again on Sunday. So we're gonna have a wash out here again We are gonna be headed right over to feed those heifers and I want to show you guys the new ones So I do have to get some cornmeal for them so Pails over here so We'll take them that So those heifers that we got, there are three of them. They're, I think two of them are just about, I think they're like 10 months old. And then the youngest one is probably around the same age as our other ones over there. So around six or seven months. Um, they're all pure jerseys. The manure truck's over here again. Spreading. So all together now, I think we have, we have five downstairs but then we added three so we have eight downstairs and three in the pen and then we do have a bigger heifer out back 12 heifers now so that's probably where we're gonna stop until these calves get out of that pen and head over there then we might pick up a couple more bottle calves or something ready yeah. if you guys haven't noticed we never buckle when we're going over here what we never buckle when we're going no. over here uh -oh. You put them on both sides? Yeah. Okay. Here they go. This? Yep, there's two of the jerseys. Three. So, the dirty ones are the ones that, right? Yeah, the jersey. This tall one, that shorter one, and the other tall one are the ones that we got. Um, summer looks like a midget. Oh. Are they all there? There's one behind. Oh, yeah, yep, they all are. They're just shorter than that jersey. That Look like maybe they need to be de-liced. Yeah. A little scruffy. Could do that. Yeah. We'll put a four foot gate that really lets some air in. Yeah. I love this barn. Ready? Yep. Okay, so I did go home for a minute to have a quick bite to eat. And now I'm headed back. It's just about 30 minutes before milk time. I do have to bail some of that field that we cut yesterday, so I thought I'd take you guys along with me for that, kind of as like a last hoorah for the haying season. Um, so we're gonna bail, I don't really know. I think he only raked part of the field, so we'll probably only get two or three bales. And then it'll be time to milk. So we're almost there right now, and then we'll get right into it.
it looks like yep brent is out there raking right now so we'll go grab the monitor to the baler real quick and get out there and start bailing since we don't have long before it's milk time it's a beautiful night i think it's about 60 degrees today just a really really nice fall day shop is still very clean very impressed that we've kept it this way for that long i think we have enough fuel in the massey i'm not really sure haven't used it in quite a while Brent's dog always sparks at me quick fuel check we we'll use a visual check system here because you never know if the gauge is right it doesn't look like there's hardly anything in there hopefully we make it get my arms crossed over here there we go There's old jacket of mine. This gauge never works right off. Watch it. I don't know why I did that.
that bail just up and ran off, guys. <laughs> it rolled from like right there all the way down there. That's why it's very hard to drop round bales on hilly ground. So he went in to get some coffee. This is what they look like. It does a really good job considering it's soaked and really, really heavy. So we're gonna put that on the unroller and give them that tonight before they come in. You can see all of them standing there waiting. Sometimes I swear they know when they're gonna get something really good. But we'll pop that on the unroller and then I'll show you guys how they react when there's something down and they come into something like that. And I've already got the calves feeder down there ready for tonight. going like that but I want to feed that way then I have to turn this that way. So that was a huge bail. There was a lot. I actually had to go around a little bit more than once. So there's a lot of feed there. Hello, Jojo. Here we go. This 
tree here is Cassie. She's our oldest cow now. I think she is around 22 or 23. Ho, ho, ho. Hey, new, new. Get out, buddy. Come on. There's the bale outside for you. Sorry, but this good feed. Real good stuff. Not for a bull, man. Come on. Get out. Go, big guy. Go. He's actually one of the ones I see use the head scratcher the most. He loves to use that. So everybody is in a stall. That's how well they like that stuff. So I've got to hook cows up and then we need to get right into milking. So thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. Um, if you did, please come join us again. Subscribe, like, and comment down below. All the things. Keep it real. Keep farming. And hope to see you guys in the next video. Bye, guys.